Gang is Grants and Emory TV. Back with your girl Antoinette Morgan. Hey. So, I had a problem with my car. My car is a 2017. It just started shaking. And it is a 2017 Hyundai Sonata Sport 2.4. And I'm going to show you, my husband and I are going to show you how to change the coil packs as well as the spark plugs. First, you want to start, because I had to go to AutoZone and pay $250 for the um, equipment, you start off with a drink. Because after having to spend $250 on a 2017 the girl need to take a shot, okay? Okay. Woo. This was the Ciroc Redberry. Now that that's done, I have on Rose Nude Nails. And you better go out messing with a car, getting dirty. You want to have on gloves. Of course, I have all my gloves and I'm going to see you outside under the hood. Okay, this is my car. This is the quill pack. Is it one, two, three, four? This is quill pack one, two, three, four. Four was misfiring. So this is a 10 inch, 10 millimeter socket. Loosen. That's tight. Wait. Why is it doing that? Because you tighten it. So we're just going to unloosen. It's loose enough. You might want to use your finger and turn the bolt. Drop that bolt down in there. Oh, well, I can't hold the camera and do this. And that's not loosening. what it looks like. And if a woman can do it, anybody can do it. Take it out. The little gray clip comes up. What do you see a gray clip? Uh, Out. So the little clip pops out here. And you should be able to pull the plug right out. You pull it this way? Or this way? Yeah. And we want to just pull. I don't know what I'm doing. supposed to come right on up off of there but actually this is your coil pack so this here is the coil pack this look weird and by the button now 
in some instances they say you may need to unbolt the battery but it's not 100% necessary this is what it, it look brand new this is what it looks like Okay, so our next step is to take out the spark plug. Where is the spark plug? Oh, it's inside of this hole. I believe the spark plug is inside of here, as you can see the tip of it. I think you said we're taking a spark plug socket. A spark plug socket. What is that? It's a ratchet. And a ratchet. Ratchet extension spark plug socket. So we got a ratchet extension and a spark plug socket. I watched a quick video and it said once you get it out and you replacing it, you want to make sure to put it back in at the same angle that you took it out at so it can thread properly. Everything ain't as easy as it seems. Tell them it's best to get magnetic tools. You heard the man. So I'm gonna go and we'll be right back. So this is the misfired bad spark plug at the top it's supposed to be white oh boy crispy here let me try to focus in we're gonna we're gonna compare a new and old daddy mac come here this is what it looks like and by the way the reason that we know what it was went to auto zone and they put a a code scanner onto my I put it on there onto my car and it read what it was this is what side by side what it's supposed to look like as you can see the difference yikes homegirl burnt her car up no <laughs> so we're just gonna put this new spark plug down in the spark plug socket Like so. Carefully flip it upside down. Ease it in. I heard you turn it to one side first. And then screw it in. Hand tight. Make, make sure it's hand tight first. Hand tight. You don't need to go in and super strength tighten this spark plug in. And then you, you want to keep twisting it to make sure it's threaded right. You want to hand tighten it 
first and then take it back off to make sure it's secure and tight. Take what back off? Run it down hand tight first and then unloosen it to make sure that it's threaded properly. It's threaded properly. So that is that. Now to change the coil pack. Now what I didn't realize when I went to go purchase the equipment is that only one of my coil packs or spark plugs misfired. So of course, we purchased a pack. We're going to try to put the old coil pack back in to see if it was just the spark plug before we open up the new pack. So give us a second and we'll be back. We just push the coil pack plug back in, push this gray part back down and push it in. And we're going to run the screw in, start the car and see if that is all it needed was just a spark plug. Okay, so all in all, I just had to replace the cylinder number four spark plug and my car was back to normal. Previously, it sounded like a diesel truck and it was shaking uncontrollably. Even when you was in park, it still had a little shake, but I did not have to replace the coil pack and I did not have to spend $250. The total cost was $7 and some change. And that was it. Thanks for watching YouTube. And as always, I love ya.